Hello friends, uh, welcome to Windows. In today's video, I will show you how to use new Bing with ChatGPT AI from Edge sidebar. Microsoft has uh, started integrating the new Bing powered by ChatGPT AI in the sidebar of the Edge browser. That means uh, users can now access the new Bing chat mode right from the Edge sidebar. Right now, Microsoft has integrated the new Bing in the latest version of Edge in the Canary and Dave channels. After you receive this update, uh, you will notice that uh, Discover button is now replaced with the blue Bing button and hovering the cursor over it or clicking the Bing button will open the Discover panel on the Edge sidebar. In the Discover panel, uh, there are three options chat compose and insight let's learn what these option does switching to chat tab will activate the new bing chat mode and open the ask me anything panel on the sidebar that appear uh, when you visit uh, bing.com you can type your queries and get answers right on the sidebar of the edge browser for example let's search what is uh, windows 11 and hit enter and you will get information about it Let's take another example. What is Tiny11? Again, Bing chat mode will give you information about it. Just like you use Bing new chat mode on Bing homepage. I have already created a video on how to use new Bing chat mode powered by ChatGPT. Check the link in the description for the video. Next feature in uh, Discover panel is Compose. This is one of the best feature of new Bing and Edge integration. Why I'm saying this, uh, you will know that in a couple of minutes. The Compose feature can draft a paragraph, email, blog post and even give you ideas related to your topic. So let's see how it works. I have a blog where I write about Windows. I want to write a blog post on topic Windows 11 versus Tiny 11. Which one is better? Before starting, I'm going to open the text editor area of my blog post. Now I'm going to take help of compose feature to create a draft. Here is how to do that. In the write about section, I need to type the post name that is Windows 11 versus Tiny 11. Which one is better? Next in the tone section, I'm going to select informational format need to be blog post and length need to be large because I need detailed information and then click on the generate draft button. Now see the magic. And in a few seconds, your blog post is ready. You can check the information in the draft and if it looks good, click on the copy icon to copy it to the clipboard and paste it to the text editor. In case you are not satisfied with the generated draft, then you can click on the refresh or regenerate icon and tool will again generate the fresh draft for you. You can also click on add to site button to automatically paste the content in the draft to text editor just like that. Isn't it a cool feature? You need to keep in mind that the information provided by this feature is based on the data on Bing search and chat GPT. So don't uh, blindly rely on the information in the generated draft. I suggest users to do some research about the information suggested by the compose feature. And if you change the format to paragraph for same topic, then it will generate the draft in the paragraph form like that. Apart from this, you can also compose emails uh, using this uh, feature as well. Here is how it works. First of all, open the email client. Let's uh, open Outlook. Now I want to draft email about appointment for the job. So write the same in the write about section. Next, select tone to be uh, professional. Format uh, needs to be email and length need to be medium. At last click on the generate draft and in no second the feature will write professional email about job appointment. Even it will type random names as well. Now if you place the cursor in the subject area and click on the add to site button, this will copy paste the content of a generated draft in the same section. Like discussed above, you can also regenerate the email content if you are not satisfied. Similarly, you can get ideas about your topics as well. For example, I am always curious to know about best places to visit in Las Vegas so I searched the same this time I set the format to idea and this tool didn't disappoint me and shared rich information about the topic 
So this is how the Compose tool works. The last feature in Discover panel is Insight. As name suggests, it gives information about the website that you have opened. Out of the box, it shows uh, some trending topics and videos. But if you open a website, let's open uh, Twitter, you will get complete insight about the website which include company information, global rank of the site, traffic source country and even uh, more later information. It's another good feature to get insight about the website as well. Overall, I really like the integration of new Bing in the Edge browser, especially the Compose feature. Microsoft is rolling out integration of new Bing in the Edge sidebar gradually, so not all users will get access to it at the same time. So that's it guys, what is your opinion about new Bing integration in the Edge browser? Let me know in the comment. Also, if you find this video useful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe the channel for more related videos.